Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. It is evening here at Walt Disney World where I am still on vacation getting ready to head home uh, real, real soon. I'll give you guys a Bat Bunker update. But today I'm going to be doing a hit or miss, a reaction to the brand new Alfred quarter scale from Prime One Studio. Now I've been a little hard on Prime One lately with some of the decisions that they have made. However, I think one of the best decisions that they've made is doing an Alfred come on about dang time i mean it has been forever no one's ever done an alfred how is that possible but we, now we finally get a quarter scale alfred a lot of people are hoping fingers crossed that they will do a third scale alfred as well but we're finally getting that alfred and i think it's brilliant i think it's genius now some people were a little upset that it didn't come with the deluxe the bat cave of course the gabriel del auto inspired bat cave which is really quite something, but I actually kind of like the idea that they're offering Alfred separately. Yes, it would have been nice to throw uh, you know, a bone to collectors and say, hey, you get this included if you buy the deluxe. It is what it is. But I do like the fact that they're, you know, if you don't buy the Batcave, because the Batcave is not cheap. And so the fact that you can actually get this one is pretty exciting. You can get it on its own. There's not a lot of bells and whistles with this one, but I do have all the photos, price point, and everything else in between. So without further ado, let's check it out. My reaction to the Alfred Quarter Scale from Prime One Studio. All right, guys, so here we go. And again, Alfred, this is part of that Throne Legacy series that Prime One is doing. But again, this is a singular Alfred. Uh, how cool is this? So we're finally getting an Alfred. And it's it, it's the classic Alfred. It is that, you know, that little mustache and the balding head it is the version, I think, that everybody would like to see um, from an Alfred and from the DC Comics. Obviously, the movie versions of him look very different, but look how great this looks. And I love the fact that it's part of that throne series uh, with the Gabriel Del Otto Batman. Uh, again, I think he's around 22 inches tall. Um, so it's, you know, it's not going to have a very big footprint. It's very, very small. Um, and the price point for this is basically $600. Uh, $600 USD plus, of course, shipping and uh, import fees and whatever else uh, there might be added on. But $600 is the base price for this, $599 USD. So I think that's pretty darn fair. Yes, it is a pretty simplistic figure for that price, but I, I think it's worth it. I think it's because it just hasn't been done. There has never been an Alfred done ever in this type of scale, uh, any large format scale at all. Um, the regular, you do get um, the, um, the T set, basically, that he's holding. Um, he's got his hand behind his back. Um, again, it's got that great classic look for Alfred. I think they really captured the look of him really, really well. Um, and I just think it just perfectly, you know, complements any, uh, DC Batman line. Uh, if you are a quarter scale collector, um, he, he can go with Batman. He can just go with the whole line. I think it'll look great. And again, I really like the sculpt of him. Um, again, very simplistic. There's not a lot of bells and whistles with him. Um, and again, you would maybe expect something for that $600 price point to be, Maybe a little bit more dynamic or whatever, but it is what it is. I, I, I think it's a pretty fair price point, and I think Prime One uh, has made a very, very good decision here. And again, look how great they look. It is a proximity piece, so you can have it next to the Batcave or, of course, um, you know, by itself if you don't buy the Batcave because the Batcave is um, you know, fairly high-priced, and so uh, it's a big, big piece as well. Um, here you got some of the details here. Obviously, it's going to match very well. You have the bat logo, you have that metal element, and then of course you also have the stalactites um, or mites. I never can remember which one's which, but uh, I think that's obviously. I mean, look at that. That looks fantastic, and it it's not going to take up very much room. Uh, Alfred's not a very big guy, and so I think it's really quite quite awesome. Um, the uh, the limited edition here, five hundred. Um, if you buy the bonus part, um, you do have the uh, the cowl. You know, the cape and the cowl which is nice. Um, it does make me wonder if they'll ever do a black version, if they would maybe redo this, because uh, I don't, you would obviously want a black cowl. But I do think that it is a really nice look, especially if um, you have it kind of standalone. Um, if you have Batman in the full suit, it might look a little bit weird. But again, from top to bottom, $600 USD. I think it is worth the price. Could it have been a little cheaper? Yes. But it is what it is. First time we've ever had an Alfred, and I think that is really freaking exciting. So there you guys have it. I'm going to turn it over to you like I always do. What do you guys think? Uh, again, I think it's really awesome. I think the price point, it's it's still a lot, but I think it's pretty darn decent in comparison to a lot of the other premium formats and everything else. So 
I tip my hat that it wasn't more expensive. Yes, it maybe could have had a few other swap outs or switch outs, but I mean, come on, let's just be honest. We're excited that we're finally getting an Alfred. And thank you, Prime One, for doing a character that has never been done before. Uh, again, that is what fans are asking for. Um, the edition size, 500, um, you know, I hope they sell it. I hope they do because I hope that it gives them, you know, courage, uh, encouragement to make more characters that we're wanting. And again, I would love to see it done in third scale. I would buy probably both versions because um, I love the fact that there's an Alfred out there. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you guys so very much for watching. And like I said, I am heading back home. So, um, you know, I will be, whoa, I don't know what that was. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that is my alarm apparently to go home. So anyway, uh, I will be back with a Bat Bunker update here real, real soon. So, uh, and also make sure you join us for Rogues Gallery Live this week. Um, of course, the amazing Susan is uh, joining us as a rogue. So it's very, very exciting. So 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you join us. It's going to be a blast. See you guys in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.